Hey everyone, welcome to your second official virtual newsletter. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, happy you're tuning in for the second week now and I'm just going to give you a little tidbit of what we're doing this week. Um, this is a pretty big assessment week considering that our second quarter ends um, on our Christmas break next Thursday. So cannot believe half of the school year is done and over with as of next Thursday. So you'll be getting report cards and in preparation for that, um, we've got an awful lot of assessments going on this week. So we are of course going to have a blast because this is first grade and we are gonna be traveling the globe this week and we are celebrating and learning all about holidays around the world. So today, um, along with our treasure book, we made suitcases to keep all of our souvenirs in, and these suitcases are precious, and like I said, we'll house all of our souvenirs from all around the world as we visit Australia, Germany, uh, Mexico. We are going to go to America next week, so we'll fly on back home um, next week, but this week we are very busy and we'll be traveling the globe. So, treasure book today, um, I picked some selection out of this gorgeous book by Rod Green, it's called Santa Claus. Last week we used it to learn about reindeer and today we visited the Arctic. So, these were some of the gorgeous pictures your child was able to check out today as well as some really cool facts about Arctic animals and what the Arctic is and where it is. We also learned all about Santa's house, which was oh so fun today. The kids got a kick out of it and even got a peek inside his house. So make sure to ask your little boy or your little girl all about that. Um, we also talked about how Santa travels the world and some of the magic that comes along with traveling the world, such as his um, magic bubble timer and how he can stop time but how um, time does work on his side as far as the time differences around the world so your, your little one is taking in a lot of neat information um, with some global awareness there so that's what we're doing this week traveling around the world in literacy learning about all different traditions that um, people are celebrating this time of year in math this week, we are going to be practicing time, and so we're using um, the hour hand often, and um, your child should be able to tell time to the hour and half past. So um, just a couple little tidbits for you. They need to know that 12 is always at the top and 6 is always at the bottom. They're directly opposite of one another, no matter, no matter the design of the watch or the clock. So um, for homework this week, I do have them going through their house, finding some different examples of clocks and watches and things like that. And also, children first learn to use the hour hand, and then they're going to come to understand how the hour hand moves at a different rate than the minute hand. So that's just a little bit of background there for you. But um, just as when you were in school, we're going to be learning to tell time. So that's really exciting because that gives them a really neat awareness of their surroundings, and they start to um, love to tell you what time it is all the time. So get ready. Um, as well as in math, we do have these lovely quarterly um, benchmark assessments um, that are given to us by Wake County. So we are going to be making sure that your student is exactly where he or she should be as far as their math knowledge up until this point. So we're going to be comparing numbers, solving some word problems, both addition and subtraction. Um, where your child has to decide is it addition or is it subtraction and they're going to be sequencing some numbers and um, writing the time down after looking at digital and analog clocks so um, nothing that should be too hard at all so that's exciting we'll get those out of the way i'm reading with everybody this week which has been so fun the growth is amazing it's phenomenal so i commend you guys on reading with your child every night because it works, um, it is tried and true practice, and these, these growth targets are being reached, and I'm just so proud of all the boys and girls. So um, I look forward to sharing all that information with you on your report card. I am gonna be doing a writing sample this week, and so real quick, I'm gonna take you to the writing wall so you can see 
what we do, what we use. So this is the writing wall. And you can just see here are some of our different punctuation examples. And here is the pencil we use, all the different ways that writers write, stories, reminders, letters, poems, notes, important thoughts, to-do lists, journal entries, emails, and thank you notes. Um, there is our cop that we use, and there is our real cop hiding out with Mr. Snowman. This is a little phrase we say to each other often, once I'm done, I've just begun. And we always talk about adding more to our writing. And there's another little phrase that we use, if I can think it, I can say it. If I can say it, I can write it. If I can write it, I can read it. And so can others. So they're going to use all this information that they have learned so far this year. Excuse me. And they're going to be producing a piece of writing on their own um, to go as a second quarter sample this week. So that's exciting. They love to pick their own topic and, um, and write a new piece. So that is it. That is a hustling, bustling classroom, isn't it? Of course, we're continuing our comparing and measurement unit. Um, we're going to sidestep a little bit and concentrate a little bit more on social studies since it's so pertinent this time of year. Um, but we are continuing that unit as well. So. Hope you guys have a great week. Um, you have a good bit of homework this week, so let me know if you have any questions. Please comment below or shoot me an email or write on the Homeschool Connection. I'd love to hear from you and um, hear how you're still loving, hopefully, these online newsletters. So have a fabulous week. Um, just a reminder, I am sending home a hot chocolate sign-up sheet. Um, we need many ingredients for a fun little hot chocolate party we're gonna have next week. And of course, you're invited, so check out your invitation. And you're welcome to bring any family that might be in town as well. All I ask you to do is bring a mug so you can enjoy some hot chocolate for yourself. Your child will be waiting on you, so that should be really fun. And um, you'll get to sit back and relax. And what else next week? Oh, on Wednesday, we're having our Polar Express Day. So um, please send your child to school in jammies. You can take the morning off and send your son or daughter to school in jammies for our um, Polar Express Day. It's going to be a lot of fun. So have a fabulous week, and I'll catch you next one. Bye.